Talk about the safety of these bridges. That's right. Scott Broom is live off 295. Scott, you had a chance to take a look at some bridge inspection reports. Uh, pretty eye opening. Uh, it was. Uh, we learned this bridge was built in 1956. It used to stand here, as you know. It had just been inspected in February, and that inspection came with a lot of paperwork, and the news at that time was not good. Engineers declared the bridge in poor condition in February and advised the city to consider replacing it altogether. The February inspection report featured disturbing photographs of crumbling concrete, rusting steel, and evidence the bridge had been struck by vehicles in the past. The bridge ranked four on a nine-point scale used by the federal government to rate bridges. But D.C. authorities say none of those faults were the cause of this collapse. Being struck by a truck was the issue. Here's Deputy Mayor Christopher Geldar talking about the recent poor rating. Again, a four means that um, there are some issues with the bridge that it needs to get into our capital projects, uh, but it doesn't mean that anything is going to, you know, the bridge is going to fall down with a score of a four. Uh, we have actually uh, six bridges in the city that have a score of a four, and most of those are in or getting their way into our capital projects to be fixed over the next couple of years. Alan Kilsheimer is a renowned independent structural engineer who reviewed the report. This report recommends the bridge be replaced and declared in a poor condition. Does that mean it was an unsafe bridge? Should it have been taken out of service? No, based on what I read in this report and the photographs I saw, I don't think it should be considered an unsafe bridge. And I don't think it should be taken out of service. I think it needed to have either repair, substantial repairs done or replaced. Does it surprise you as an engineer that when a truck of that size hit this bridge that it did come down? No. This is really serious. But ANC Commissioner Dorothy Douglas says the bridge should not have been allowed to sink to poor condition, regardless of what happened with the truck. They knew this and has been not, not been knowing that this has been existing for years. And then you got children that have to cross that bridge and thank God that they weren't in school or on their way to school or between school. The question now for this neighborhood is whether or not there are going to be plans to replace this bridge. The neighborhood says they need it to get back and forth. According to the most recent federal report, and you heard the deputy mayors quote these statistics, six of D.C.'s 243 bridges are in poor condition. That's about 3% of the stock of the bridges in the city, and that's actually better than most states and jurisdictions around the country, including Virginia and Maryland. All of those are in line for repairs, according to the deputy mayor. Reporting live, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Residents there say they need that bridge to go back and forth, so it is clear that bridge needs to be repaired and put back into service as soon and as safely as possible. Scott, thank you.